Very good understanding why uh, what we're about to show you didn't take off. Oh, no. uh, well, what? What's that? Well, because we've just watched uh, Eddie's new show. Yes. Hey, hey, let's hope we do it justice. Between Gary. the let's lines, let's hope we fantastic. can keep the ratings up because he will have killed them. That's right, and and one of the, if not the, finest hosts uh, on this network. But uh, what has come across our desk, uh, Jim? Yes, has staggered us today. Well, well, I can't believe for a start. Gary, it's taken us nearly six years to stumble across this piece of vision because mm. uh, it is quite simply unbelievable. We're going back to 1994. A pilot was shot. Uh, a pilot sports Who's show was shot. <laughs> who? Well, some of the biggest names going around at the time. Simon O'Donnell, who was at the peak of his cricket yeah. powers. Merv Hughes, speaking of unbelievably famous cricketers. Fat Vorton was, was on there. the panel. Lindley Frame. They were all there, the big, big names, but they needed someone to host this I think thing. it was called a sporting <laughs> opportunity or something. Something like sporting that. Sporting chance. The, uh, spo uh, sporting chance it was called <laughs> and they needed someone to head it up to if be the host did, not just the panel member shut what, up Foss now they needed a host Gary so the, how this didn't actually Gary. take off is beyond us but what we want you to do is just sit back and I'm enjoy I'm going to warn you if this is what I think <laughs> this is up, enjoy the pilot that didn't quite make it to air this is our man the Foss just debuting have a look right, at this right that's it and a sporting chance here it goes Wait for his walk There's on. There's the panel, they're Jim. ready to go. Wait for his walk Where's on. Where's the host? Oh! There he is. Oh. There he is. <laughs> 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 Look at the setup on him. Welcome to the Sporting Chance. As always, our listen, teams listen. are playing for you at home. Look at them. And if you want to take a Sporting Chance, we'll tell you how to be part of the action <laughs> a little later. <laughs> I tell you, who are you modelling yourself can, on there when you I, wandered Gary? out? <laughs> Just a little brill cream touch on the shag, Foss, to keep that it is, nice and I saw a bit tight. of Tony Barber in the walk-on. Yes. Is there a little bit of a spring in your Rob step? Rob Bruff, I think, in the first... Talk us through. What was that, it? That is my intellectual property, Gary. <laughs> and who, who, has, who has given you that? That has just come across our desk. And and you know, you think I'm actually vaguely joking. I don't really mind uh, if you're not joking because that is well, Gary that is my property and, and if a I very want that funny bit of property mm. it was forced what we want to now show you because and this is no a, more a serious oh, yeah. this, this is, is a serious pilot oh, episode that was shot come on. that for some reason Jim oh well is beyond uh, us. It certainly wasn't because the host wasn't oh, smooth shit. enough. Oh, you talk, oh, you shit. talk about smooth. Come on. Have a look at the force or go about and it welcome here. Welcome back to a sporting chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yep. Now, Lindley, uh, the next major campaign for you is obviously uh, Atlanta. Uh, no, we've got Commonwealth Games first. And then the next, <laughs> let me rephrase that, Lindley. If you'd like to be a part of the action on the Sporting Chance, decide which team you think will win and by what margin. And then ring 0055 242628 before Friday each week to record your vote. Wait for it. <laughs> ring as many times go. as you like, but do it before Friday here each week. Here we go, here we go. One, here it is. Oh! And some great prizes to be won. Oh, now, I look, that, mate. Now, come I on. love that last bit. Oh, what about you got to keep playing this all I through. I love the last bit. There was a little tilt Just of the head. Just a little tilt of the head and a half smirk. I'll tilt little someone's little... head in a minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Greg Evans was the other man who did Blind Date and Perfect yes, Match, yes. who uh, was a ratings juggernaut yes. and he insisted I do the hosting. I don't. You could hear him. He was the voiceover <laughs> man. Well, yes. I, I, I think we just had it around the wrong way. Listen, <laughs> I love the tilt. I want you to go have a look at this again. Just <laughs> watch, watch the head tilt here. This is what. Just Thank watch. Each coming week. up. Oh. Here, here it is. There, we go. there it is. <laughs> Gonna try oh. and incorporate that well, into my well, act. Just a well, little. Gary, uh, <laughs> I've I've been <laughs> I've been everywhere this week. This week, uh, just I'd like to just ask you something. I've been everywhere this week, and I was up in Kyabra, um, and towards towards my teammates. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I don't think it's it's much of an issue. Well, we have noticed you've just been a touch prickly. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we do love you, but we saw this in the pre-season where um, just uh, against the Bombers and there's a little bit of business. But then this bit of business we like too, where you just turn around and a bit of that. And, <laughs> and then a 50 resulted. What did you say there? Was there much you actually said to the umpire? I can confidently say I didn't swear at him. Um, yeah. That's a start, but I did. It was pretty demonstrative, so... I think that's where I went wrong. But I, I, just, I just asked him to look at the uh, replay because 
He did suggest no, that I hit him high. Well, the, the, the replay being in the middle of his chest. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. We think there's a reason. We think we've got, uh, got to the bottom it's of it. It's not good to be angry with the umpires, man. No, we, we, think you've been <laughs> we think you've been influenced by this words. sort of stuff. Because <laughs> uh, you look up your role models. Oh, look at him. Oh, no. shorts. What, what did you say then, Sam? <laughs> what were you saying then? I was telling him to look at the screen. It wasn't existing. <laughs> 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 Very violently demonstrative, uh, oh, yeah. Samuel. There, so it's the sort of stuff. We're going to give you a break. That's buddy. high of pen, too. Give us uh, a high of pen, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crept them right. No, up. They were a fraction <laughs> high in there. It was a camel. There's a camel there, Foss. Now, Gary, I know. What's <laughs> Gary? <laughs> A little bit of toe, Foss. There was a bit of toe oh, there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Small toe. Gary, oh. if this continues... Oh, right. oh, right. If you show any more of that bloody pile... Yeah. Right. No, seriously. No, seriously. Well, no. don't be a jerk. All right. Oh. Let's get on to Brownie over here, who I believe may be coming back, not this... trying to close the show. La ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, well, <laughs> thank you very much. Well done to Beige, who's just been sprung for being a drug taker. No, oh, yes, yes. Well yes. done to the yes. titanium kid here, Brownie, who, uh, well done to you, Arthur. The white. <laughs> yes, fantastic to have you in. Jim, you've been a star. Bill, thanks so much. Thank Arthur, you, say what it is we want from TaylorMade. <laughs> the white R11 driver, we can't plug it anymore. How what? much can we... Hey, let him go. <laughs> One white R11. <laughs> go on, guys. Line us up, boss. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's been a very interesting show. Good luck on the weekend, Brownie. Good luck for two weeks' time. Hope it all comes together. <laughs> so